I think one of the things that we're seeing, and I'd love to get your take on this, is especially with app modernization, uh, and in light of, how to put this delicately, uh, shifting sands in the, in the world of, uh, let's say, VDI, in the vendor landscape of VDI, VDI seems to be a ripe area where we're getting a lot of customers talking to us about, you know, we, we, we initially rolled out VDI to do uh, app separation, to separate the user from the network. Um, and now we're, we have a virtual desktop consuming significant resource, yeah. cons significant cost, just to, to have a, a virtual browser running in, in that session. So we're seeing early traction with, with, uh, with VDI. Curious to get your take on that. And, and a quick second point to this is, uh, as we see more and more users, uh, enterprises adopting web applications, uh, their stance on zero trust is also starting to shift, yeah. uh, especially when it comes to unmanaged workers where, um, for example, for our sales kickoff, we have uh, dozens of contractors and consultants that are helping us put on this event. They have to have access to our solutions, our data, our, our applications that are in the cloud. But not everything. But not everything, yeah. just the right things. Right? Yeah. We, want, we want that perimeter, that, that, that surface to be very small. And so um, we have a browser extension, which we, we give them uh, zero trust network access uh, without them having to download a thick client or having, they're, they're working with 10 other customers and so on. Curious to get your take on that as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll start with zero trust and then go, go back to the first question around VDI. Zero trust to me is the, <clears throat> one of the biggest no brainers in networking in security that we've ever had. If you think the reason the internet works so well is it's based on the concept that everything can talk to everything, right? So if I tape, you know, menlosecurity.com into a browser, boom, it resolves and it sends me there immediately. So that's great from an accessibility standpoint. It's bad from a security standpoint because everything can talk to everything. Zero Trust flips that upside down, right? And it's the first real revolution we've had in networking in a long time where you can't access things unless you have explicit permission to. And that's the way networks need to work today because again, the threat actors know if I can breach one spot, hey, I have unfettered access to literally everything inside the company. And that's why those low slow threats are actually very successful. In fact, one of my data points in my research is it, it, typically these, the, the threat actors are in your organizations for three to four months yep. before they actually take any action, right? Think about that, you've had a bad actor in your environment for over a quarter without you knowing about it. And the only way you find out about it is they do something nefarious, okay. right? So that's a, that's a really scary thing for companies. And so we've tried to create these abstraction layers to, to, to be able to uh, protect against it. And VDI was certainly one of those. And I'm not taking anything away from VDI. I'll tip my hat to the early days of that because we didn't have a better solution. But it has run its course. It's, it's very processor intensive. And to run a browser within a VDI session is an abstraction layer of an abstraction layer. And it's really not needed. I think the reason you see it, Pej, is that people are comfortable with the VDI architecture. And yeah. so this, this, this comfort level um, is a little bit like running a DOS terminal in a Windows machine, right? It's like, it's, <laughs> it's comfortable. I know it. I'll figure out what to do with it later. And um, it's the same thing even with like VMware integrated containers. I don't really need to put an abstraction layer between my containers and my cloud, but I do because I'm comfortable with it. And I think, uh, again, VDI was great innovation for its time, yeah. but it's 30 years old now, right? If you think back to the early days of thin client. And so it is time to evolve to something else.